Hey, what's up, Ranger fans? It's your boy, Steve Cardenas, a.k.a. Rocky the Red Power Ranger, and you are watching the Curbside Podcast. For the time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jay Kirby, host of the Curbside Podcast, and joining me today, an absolute hero of the show, um, Steve Cardenas, one of the original... Red Rangers, the Blue Zero Ranger, a Power Ranger icon, man. Just like, an all-out awesome dude. I mean, dude, absolutely. You know? <laughs> you, first off, you agreed to do the interview, so you're already amazing. Sorry. I was oh, bothering my OCD. Now. Oh, really? No, <laughs> I got it. Um, but it's an absolute <laughs> honor to interview you. Thanks, man. Um, I specifically remember when you came on to the show. Um, what was that like coming on to Power Rangers after it was already, like, after in the swing of it. Hot, yeah. yeah, it was already in the swing and you were coming in right. Man, I mean, well, I just, I literally got thrust into all of it. You know what I mean? Because I, I heard about an audition on the radio. Right. And it was basically saying, hey, we're looking for Power Rangers uh, to add to the cast. If you know how to do martial arts or gymnastics, come on down to the local TV station in Dallas and try out. Okay. So I was living here in Dallas at the time. And uh, so I just said, heck, I'm going to go give it a show or give it a go, you know? And uh, I got there. It was about 5,000 people in the parking wow. lot. I was looking around and going, oh, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way, man. But I said, you know what? I got to just go and show them what I can do. And mm -hmm. if I don't hear back from them, then I really lost nothing. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, to my surprise, they called me back a couple of days later. They're like, yeah, we really liked your audition. We want to mm -hmm. fly you to California to meet the producers. That's they awesome. flew me to California the next day. I auditioned for Haim Saban right there on the spot when I, wow. when I landed and went right to the Saban headquarters and then from there they just the next day they go okay congratulations you're on the show and um, you're going to be the new uh, Red Ranger and we're going to film for about a month to get some episodes in the can and mm -hmm. then from there we're going to go to Australia and do a movie and I was like wow whoa I mean I literally got thrown into everything and everything for me was on the job training all wow. on the job training because I had I didn't know nothing about sets or lighting or marks or right. cameras or sound or you know, or acting. No, <laughs> or really, you, you just know knew how I mean? to do the the best. Yeah, I just knew how to do the. I just knew how to do the martial arts. So the, the choreography side of it was easy for me, but mm -hmm. all the rest of the stuff was extremely difficult. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And what was it like switching over from? the the red ranger the movie and then going straight into zeo well we didn't we did a whole season season three mm -hmm. of the whole the whole the ninja rangers right, right right so and then from there we went to zeo um by that point i mean we'd already been shooting so much you know I, we were you know seasoned at that mm -hmm. point you know and it was it was just part of the storyline because we had to match the sentai footage so right. just you know it was just part you know it was just wasn't even an issue you know what i mean mm -hmm. like people care about who's the red who's the blue Right. It didn't matter to us, you know what I mean? We just, you know, happy to keep working. <laughs> of course. And then, uh, unfortunately, they didn't have you back for Turbo. Uh, well, that was my choice, though. Really? I chose to leave the show. I yeah. wasn't sure. So they had to find a way to write me out, mm -hmm. and they said, can we, well, let, at least come and do part of the movie, mm -hmm. um, and so that way we can write you out and establish the new character, the okay. new replacement. I said, okay, that's fine, yeah. I did not know Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, Learning it was something choice, every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. That was my choice, yeah. And then what was it like to come back for the the 30 year special oh, man that was really special man uh you know just knowing it was going to be a tribute to to twee um mm -hmm. you know who even though we were never on camera together you know we knew her very well because mm -hmm. you know we we always used to all hang out all the old oh. old school guys and the new school guys we always used to hang out oh, that's really they were cool. all friends and stuff so even though when they left they didn't become enemies to us or right. anything like that. I mean, we, you know, we were friends with those guys all the time, you know. And even mm. Twee, even Twee and I even had an a an acting uh, workshop that we did together as wow. well too back in the day. So, yeah. Um, so the fact that they were finally doing a tribute to Trini mm. was really cool. And um, so I was just uh, I was happy to be part of that. And then when just stepping on these sets and you're seeing the <laughs> command center again, and you see the old juice bar, and I'm mm -hmm. just like. Now the nostalgia, the way the right. nostalgia comes for you guys, for us, us, came for you. Where it came for us oh, when we stepped on that old set. That's you know? amazing. So, so we mean to we're joking him in the in the car. Was the uh, the suit the new suit much different than putting on the old one? No, no, no they just... were almost identical. Yeah. Oh, okay, I think that they might have had a little bit more of like a metallic type on the on mm -hmm. the Harlequins, but uh, other than that, no, it was it was nice. pretty much the same. And then what's it been like just going to cons and meeting all these people really? that it's been fantastic, man. I mean, that's what I've been doing too. that. I've been doing conventions nonstop now for more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. And the reason I love it so much is because people get to tell me stories about, 
you know, just how much that show impacted them and how much it influenced their life. And I mean, these are things that when you're doing the show, you don't think about, you know, how's this going to impact people later, you know, right. just like, oh, we're happy to do a kid's show. We're happy to be working, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of thing. But never in our any of our dreams did we ever think that it would be 30 years later and people just would still love it and flock to it so much. You know, I mean, I just never expected that and nobody right. else did either. Right. Such a a small uh you know work for you guys turned into this massive mm -hmm. phenomenon yeah i mean trust me it, it's impacted me it's impacted <laughs> plenty of fans so i guess with that given the chance would you get to go but would you ever go back to the show if they ever ask me i'll always come back mm -hmm. you know because i even told <coughs> sorry no worries <coughs> maybe you can cut that part <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know. Something like flew in my mouth. <clears throat> uh, yeah. No, if they ever ask me back, I'll always mm -hmm. come back. I even told them I'll do it for free because it's mm -hmm. not really about the money. It's more about just giving back to the fans that have been supporting us these over all the years, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so that's why I try to do as many of these shows as I can, too. Just try to give people the opportunity to have that experience, to meet right. us and just tell their story to us and, and stuff. I mean, because that means everything to everyone, you know. And Absolutely. so uh, I'm happy, you know, to, to do it. So anytime I can ever give back by being part of the show again, I'll always go back. That's amazing. Well, Steve, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for the interview. No it means problem, the world man. to me. Thank it means you, the world brother. to the show. <laughs> thank, thank you, guys. Much.